Video game movies have been at an all-time high recently, with modern adaptations like the Mario movie and the Five Nights at Freddy's movie making millions, if not billions of dollars in revenue, beating all the other recent movies at the box office. And even more movies are on the horizon, like the Puppy Playtime movie, the Minecraft movie, and even a Bendy movie. And something I've seen popping up a lot recently is the speculation of a Garden of Banban movie. Yes, you heard me right. The franchise is certainly big enough to get a movie with some people arguing that it gained even more popularity at its peak than Bendy and the Ink Machine's peak, and Bendy is already getting a movie. So the questions I aim to answer are, will there be a Garden of Banban movie? And if there will be one, what would it look like? And how well would the movie perform? Would the movie win an Oscar level award? Or would it win the biggest flop of the year? So put your party hats on and eat your vegetables because we're talking about Banban. Also, before jumping in, I hid a bronze, silver, and gold party hat in this video. And the first person to find them all gets pinned, so pay attention. First, you might think it's impossible for an indie horror game to get a full production movie. But we have received not one, not two, but actually three movies based on indie horror games. First, we had Five Nights at Freddy's. A lot of people had little to no hope of it ever releasing, but against all odds, it eventually did. Next was the Poppy Playtime movie which although hasn't been released yet, is still on the way. We even got new info on the movie a couple of days ago, so it definitely isn't cancelled. And last but not least, the Bendy movie. Although we have only received this teaser, which was the announcement of the movie's existence, the movie is definitely still coming, since we haven't received any cancellation announcements. But what gave these game franchises movies popularity? There isn't much to talk about, with the rising popularity of these franchises. Movie producers see huge potential to make money. So can Gotten of Banban get a movie? And in my personal opinion, yes, Gotten of Banban could definitely get a movie. The franchise, similar to Puppy Playtime and Five Nights at Freddy's, has recently been gaining huge popularity, with no end in sight. So this game could potentially get a movie in the next couple of years. But what would this movie be about? First, we can eliminate an exact retelling of the story. Since not only is the franchise too long to fit into a movie, but it would also be too predictable to the fans, which are the main audience for this movie. But I have three concepts which would best fit a Garden of Banban movie. 1. A reimagining of the series. It would basically be like the Freddy's movie, with the main concept sticking around, and everything else would be changed. 2. A sequel or prequel of the games. Either the movie would take place before the kindergarten shot down, or after the main games end, which is unlikely, because the Ban Ban games seem like they'll be going on for a while. And three, something never before seen. What I mean by this is that the movie would do something never done by any video game movie, whether it be through art style, story, or characters. Since it would never be done, I can't predict what it is, of course. But no matter what way the Euphoric Brothers decide to bring Garden of Ban Ban to the big screen, would this movie perform well in the box office? Yes. And I actually think this movie would perform as well if not better than the Poppy Playtime movie, if it were to be released. This is mainly because Gotten of Bamban's current audience. While Poppy Playtime appeals to teens and adults, which limits the success of the movie, Gotten of Bamban can appeal to anyone, young kids, and even some adults. So this movie can make millions in revenue if done well. So euphoric brothers, you have a lot to do if you really want to make a good movie. And make sure to share in the comments where you found the colored party hats to be the pinned comment if you're first.